Right, in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to make a simple staff page through WordPress. So now one thing with a lot of client websites is they want to be able to remove and add staff from a page easily. So we're going to create a custom post type and use advanced custom fields to allow you to add like a job title, phone number, and email address to those staff members. And this way your client can easily hide or add staff members to their website. The first thing to do is to get to your dashboard and then head over to your plugins and just go ahead and add new and then I just use custom post type UI. It's simple, it's easy, <clears throat> there's no bloat to it, it just gets the job done. So install, hit OK, activate the plugin and then down here you will have custom post types go ahead and click add new we're going to add a new, a new post type so just call it staff this is the machine name this is how WordPress will reference it and then in label just go ahead and call it staff members and then staff member for the singular single label and then just click on advanced options and then where it says menu position enter five because when you enter five, it's going to show up right here. Makes it easier for the client to find that entry. And then you, you can disable anything that's not needed. Page attributes, you may want to save that in case you want them to be able to rearrange the order of how the staff are displayed. You don't really need the author revisions. I usually disable, same with content, comments. Custom fields will be using advanced custom fields to manage that, not actually using WordPress's meta box to so disable that. And there. Setting so just create the custom post type. And now we have our new post type right here. So let's go ahead and install advanced custom fields. install now this is a great plugin if you've never used it before it makes developing on WordPress much simpler if you're not familiar with code or even if you just need to make a quick post type and some functionality and you don't have time to write the code it's a great tool so go ahead and head over to custom fields and we're going to click on add new field group let's call it staff information we're going to add a field so it pops up this nice Ajax entry. Let's call it job title. And if you click off of there, it'll automatically change the field name. This is how you reference it through the template using advanced custom fields functions. Field type text, formatting none. Go ahead and click, click on close field. We're done with that entry. So let's add an email. So we'll just call it email click off of it field type this allows you to click you can choose different a multitude of input types in our case we're going to pick email so that way it can validate it for us so go ahead click close and then let's add a phone number oh, I don't believe that there is a validator for phone numbers but that's fine enough So now the staff custom post type will have job titles, email, and phone fields to give it a better, to make actual use of this staff page. Now we want to set these rules as to where this meta box is going to show up. So we want the post type to equal staff. So that's fine enough. Um, you do have options for where it can show up, and this weight is relative if you were to have multiple advanced custom field meta boxes. So position, we can just go ahead and throw it on the side and within a standard meta box. So then just hit publish. Go to staff members, let's add one. And then we can just say test here. And then fill in some fluff real quick. So 
client comes in, the title is the actual staff member's name, enter a bio if they would like, and then enter the job title, email, and phone. Obviously, you can do as much as you want with this. This is just a simple example. So let's go ahead and hit publish. Uh, we're going to have one fallback. You view it, it's just a plain old post type because we haven't done any templating. Typically what I do when it comes to this, instead of using the typical post archive, I will actually make a new page called staff. And then this way, the client can add text above it. This way the client can add content above all the staff members and they have a little bit more control over how it's displayed and they're not calling you to have things added to the staff list. So let's help go ahead and publish that. Okay, so now you want to navigate to your theme. So I'm going to go ahead and find that and navigate. So you want to copy the page template file, paste it, and change the name to page-staff because that is the slug's name. If you're unfamiliar with how to template in WordPress, I recommend visiting the codex and just brushing up on template hierarchy. That's kind of out of the scope of this screencast. So, like I said, name it page hyphen staff because that is the slug name. So now this template is going to override this page. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that right here. So let's get back to Chrome. I'm going to go over to GitHub. I have a snippet posted here for creating a custom WP query that's going to search for post posts of the post type staff and then create a nice list of those items. So I copy that. And this is what I generally do. Is I'll insert this after the content. So if we go ahead paste, tab it out a bit to match. So now it's going to show the content for the regular post and underneath it it's going to do custom WP query. Uh, we set post per page to negative one because you don't want it to only show 10 staff members unless you plan on doing pagination on this actual page. And set the post type to staff and then right here it has a link I set it up that there's a thumbnail, that way they can set a featured image for the post and that's actually the staff member's profile shot which will link to their individual blog post or post type. And then for name, do the same thing with the permalink and it links to the title because that's what we're having them set their name as. And here is where we actually pull the advanced custom fields data. Advanced Custom Fields has a function called the underscore field and for the parameters you simply put the field name and that allows you to pull that data for post objects within the loop. So here we have title, the field job title, email, make an email link, the field email, ditto for phone. So let's go ahead, save that, and then if we view this page we now have a list pulled. Now I didn't do any CSS styling because we'll, I can leave that up to you to figure out how you would like to do that but we can just drop this in quick to kind of clean it up. Save it. Boom. Here if you want to see what it's like with a picture I'll just grab profile picture quick set the featured image update it and we'll go back to page 
pages and we want to view the staff page. So there, you can even then take this and then float left the image, maybe give it a margin right, and there you go. Now you just made your client happy because they can have a slick looking staff page. <coughs> Instead of trying to figure out HTML and edit a static page. If you have any questions or need any further examples, just leave a comment in the video and I'd be glad to help anyone out.